So, for example, number 1, so ilet natin si 5x plus 4 as u. And then yung y natin is uh, u raised to 5. So, ilipat ko lang tong y is equal to u raised to 5. And then, kunin natin yung derivative ng dalawa. So, du with respect to x. So, that is uh, 5. And then, dy with respect to du. With respect to u, so that is 5u raised to 4. And then, according to chain rule, so that is dy over du times uh, du over dx. So, makakansel si du. Kung matitira na lang is dy dx. And then, uh, pag multiply daw natin si dy over du, so 5 times or 5u to the 4th times 5. And then, uh, di ba si u, ibalik natin yung value ni u which is uh, 5x plus 4 raised to 4 times 5. Pwede pa natin itong simplify, so dito na lang natin ilagay sa so dy dx. So dy dx natin is 5 times, or 25, 5 times 5 is 25, times 5x plus 4 raised to 4. So, this is our final answer. But, sometimes, merong shortcut na ginagawa. So, hindi na tayo nagsiset ng u and y. So, ang gagawin lang is, since an uh, exponent yan, may exponent yung function natin. So, pwedeng power rule. So, magiging 5x plus 4 minus uh, 5 minus 1 is 4. And then, since differentiable yung nasa loob, so, multiply lang natin just sa derivative ng nasa loob, which is 5. So, yung y prime natin, or yung dy dx, so that is the same as this. So, same lang naman yung answer. So, para lang hindi mahaba yung solution. So, another example, differentiate y is equal to square root of x minus 3. So, usually, kapag ang given is a radical function, so, ang conventional na ginagawa natin is to convert radical form into fractional exponent or rational exponent. So, try natin yun. So, given natin is y is equal to uh, x minus 3. So, y is equal to x minus 3 raised to 1 half. So, kung ano yung uh, root or yung nasa index, yun yung magiging nasa denominator, nasa denominator ng uh, exponent. And then, kung ano yung power niya or yung exponent sa loob, so yun yung magiging numerator. So, applying the power rule, or sige, yung chain rule na rin. So, 1 half x minus 3 raised to 1 half minus 1 times derivative of x minus 3 is 1. So, y prime is equal to 1 half x minus 3 raised to negative 1 half. And then, uh, ibaba lang natin si uh, x minus 3 since negative siya. So, that is positive 1 half. So, y is equal to 2 square root of x minus 3. So, pwede natin i-diff yan dyan. Or, you can rationalize kung ayaw niyo na may denominator sa baba. So, multi multiply lang natin both numerator and denominator by x minus 3. Square root of x minus 3 para makancel out si square root. So, y prime is equal to square root of x minus 3 all over 2. Uh, x minus 3. So, you can distribute this uh, to or sige, distribute lang natin. So, that is 2x minus 6. Okay? So, this is our final answer. So, try naman natin yung uh, yung formula, yung may formula, yung short term method, which is the derivative of uh, square root of u. So, that is uh, 1 over 2 square root of u. So, multiplied by the derivative of u. So, try nga natin yun. So, ang given natin, di ba, is square root of x minus 3. So, that is a uh, square root, right? So, 1 over 2 square root of x minus 3 times derivative of the inner function or yung nasa loob ng square root. So, that is 1. So, still, same pa rin naman, no? Uh, ito pa rin siya. Same lang na nakuha natin dito. Ayan, 1 over square root of x minus 3. And then, you can rationalize it. So, same lang naman yung makukuha natin dito. So, paano naman kapag hindi square root? So, let's say, um, so, let's say another example. So, y 
is equal to uh, 7 truth of x cube. So, di ba dito, kung ano yung nasa index, yun yung nasa baba, yung ano naman, yung exponent niya nasa taas, di ba? So, 1. So, ganun din dito. So, kung ano yung uh, index, so yun yung nasa baba. And then, nasa taas siya, yung exponent, so nasa taas yan. And then, uh, ano din, 7th root. Tulad nito, di ba, square root yan, square root din siya dito. So, 7th root din siya, and then x, and i-minus lang natin yung 7, or yung 3 from 7. So, raise to 4. Okay, so that's it. Or, you can rationalize it kung gusto nyo rationalize kung ayaw na may square root sa baba. So, square root, or 7th root, 7th root of x raised to 3. 7th root of x raised to 3. Okay. So, makancel out to. So, we'll come up with uh, 3. Then, 7th root of x cubed all over 7x. So, again, uh, try naman natin yung conventional. So, y prime. So, that is equivalent to. So, ano muna natin? Convert muna natin into fractional. So, raise to 3 over 7. So, y prime is equal to 3 over 7. x raised to 3 over 7 minus 1. So, gawin na natin itong 7 over 7. So, magiging y prime is equal to 3 over 7. x raised to negative 4 over 7. And then, uh, y prime is uh, 3 over 7. And then, 7 root. Or, ano muna natin? Ibaba na lang muna natin. So, x... Uh, 4 over 7. And then, so finally, we got the same answer, no? Uh, square root, uh, square root, 7 root of x raised to 4. So, same lang then dito. Yeah. So, 3 over 7 times 7 root of x raised to 4. And then, you can rationalize it. So, ganito lang din makukuha nyo. Okay? So, let's try another example. So, 4 root of uh, 2x squared minus 1 cube. So, tulad yung ginawa natin kanina, so y prime is, so yung exponent natin nasa ba, nasa taas yan, then yung 4th root sa baba, and then copy lang natin yung uh, index, and then uh, 2x cube minus 1, and then yung exponent niya sa labas, so 4 minus uh, 1 to, so that is 3 dapat. So, 4 minus 3 is 1. And then, so, chain rule tayo, ba? So, yung inside function, so, pwede pa natin yung i-differentiate. So, that is 6x squared. Ayan. So, y prime is, so, multiply natin yung 18x squared over 4 square root of, or 4 root of 2x cubed minus 1. Raised to 1. Okay? Huwag na din ang So, again, if you want to rationalize it, so, ayan yun ang may, um, fourth root sa baba. So, rationalize natin yan. So, 2x cubed minus 1. So, that is 3. So, then, 2x cubed minus 1 raised to 3. So, para makancel out to. Okay. So, y prime is... So, pwede pa natin itong i-lowest term no, sa 9x squared. Uh, multiply by... So, 2x cubed minus 1 cubed all over 2 times 2x cubed minus 1. So, pwede nyo itong i-distribute. So, magiging 4x cubed minus... Yeah. And again, we can try the conventional one. So, y, y is equal to 4th root of... 2x cubed minus 1 raised to 3. So, y prime is equal to uh, 2x cubed minus 1. And then, uh, 3 fourth. Okay? So, y prime is... So, hindi pa to y. So, 3 fourth. So, 2x cubed minus 1. So, 3 fourth minus 1. So, let's say uh, 4 fourths. 
multiplied by the inner the derivative of the inner function so that is 6x so it will become y prime is 18x all over 4 and then uh, yung ano pala natin nakalimutan natin so 2x cubed minus 1 so 3 fourth minus 4 over 4 is negative 1 fourth okay so ibaba lang natin so 18x uh, how many times are we? Square it, blah blah. Okay. So four. Then since one fourth, yan. So two x raised to three minus one raised to positive one fourth. So we know we index that in our sa denominator. Okay. So one of them is one. The same lang. Eighteen x squared over four square root of four. 2x cubed minus 1. So, choice nyo na lang kung ano yung mas gusto nyo. So, naka-square root yan. So, you can uh, rationalize it. So, pwede nyo namang gawing uh, 1 fourth yan. Yan. Tapos, multiply nyo both side by 2x cubed minus 1 raised to 3 fourth. 3 fourth. Okay? So, so, same lang din. Magiging, uh, ganun lang din. So, ito magiging 9, tapos 2. So, 9x squared, tapos yung 1 fourth, ay yung 3 fourth pala. So, ito yun. Yung numerator, nandito sa exponent. Tapos yung denominator niya, nandito sa, uh, sa index. Okay. Tapos, itong 2x cubed minus 1, raised to 1 fourth. So, pag pinag-multiply natin niya, mag-add yung, um, ano niya, yung exponents. So, magiging 1. Magiging 2 raised to or 2 times, 2x cubed minus 1 na lang siya. Tapos, multiply lang natin. Distribute lang natin yung 2 sa 2x cubed. So, magiging 4x cubed minus 2. So, same lang din. Okay, so, choose nyo na kung yung mas gusto nyo. So, differentiate y is equal to 1 over x squared plus a raised to 3. So, tataas lang natin si x squared plus a raised to 3. Uh, then, magiging negative siya. So, y prime. So, apply natin si power rule and si chain rule. So, yung, out, yung outside function natin is u raised to negative 3. So, negative 3. Then, yung inside function, copy lang natin. Then, negative 3 minus 1 is negative 4. And then, multiplied by the inner, or the derivative of inner function that is x squared plus 8. So, that is 2x. So, y prime is equal to negative 6x times x squared min, or plus 8 raised to negative 4. So, ibaba lang natin si negative 4. Or si, ano pala, si x squared plus 8. So, negative 6x all over x squared plus 8. Raised to 4. So let's have another example. Y is equal to x cubed times 4x plus 5 raised to 4. So product rule yung ulit. So that is y prime is equal to x cubed times derivative of 4x plus 5 raised to 4. So uh, power rule and chain rule. 4 times uh, 4x plus 5. 4 minus 1 is 3 times yung derivative ng, inner, ng inside function that is 4x plus 5. So, 4 na lang. And then, plus, copy natin si 4x plus 5 raised to 4 multiplied by uh, derivative of x cubed. So, that is 3x squared. So, simplify lang natin. So, y prime is equivalent to uh, 4 times 4 is 16 times x cubed. So, that is 16x cubed. Then, 4x plus 5 raised to 3, plus 4, uh, 3x squared, 4x plus 5 raised to 4. And then, factor out natin yung common channel ng dalawa. So, dito sa 16x cubed and 3x squared, so ang common channel is x squared. So, hindi natin pwede factor out si 3. So, hindi naman siya divisible by 3, diba? And then, uh, itong 4x plus 5, 4x plus 5, so yung mas mababang exponent yung ilalabas natin, which is 3. Then, yan, so, 16x cubed times 4x plus 5 raised to 3 divided by x squared times 4x plus 5 raised to 3, so that is 16x. Plus, 3x squared divided by x squared, so 3 na lang. Then, 4x plus uh, 5 raised to 4 divided by 4x plus 5 raised to 3, so matitira is 1 exponent, no? 4x plus 5. Okay. The next, y prime is equal to x, cube, x squared 
4x plus 5 raised to 3 times 16 plus 3 times 4x is 12x plus uh, 15. So, ito may x pa pala to. So, y prime is equal to x squared times 4x plus 5 raised to 3. 16x plus 12x is 28x plus 15. So, this is our final answer. So, differentiate ln of 2x plus 1 raised to 3 over 3x minus 1 raised to 4. So, pag meron tayong uh, function or natural logarithmic function, so, kukunin natin yung uh, derivative niya. So, yung formula for that is uh, derivative of ln uh, u is equal to uh, 1 over u times derivative of u. Okay? So, dito sa problem na to, since we already know the formula for get in a derivative of natural logarithmic function. So, dito kasi sa uh, type ng uh, function na to, pwede natin apply yung logarithmic or natural logarithmic property na ln u over b. So, pwede natin silang paghiwalay yan as ln u minus ln b. Okay? So, dito, uh, bago natin kunin yung uh, derivative niya, so, i-apply muna natin yung uh, property na yun. So, ln uh, 2x plus 1 raised to 3 minus ln 3x minus 1 raised to 4. So, another property ng uh, natural log. So, hindi pa tayo nag-differentiate. So, pwede natin itong ibaba. So, 3 ln 2x plus 1 minus 4 ln 3x minus 1. And then, dito tayo sa mag, uh, ano, nag differentiate So, again, uh, derivative of ln u, so that is 1 over u times du dx. Okay? So, f prime of x, so, constant lang to, set aside lang natin yan. So, ang ln u, so, magiging 1 over uh, 2x plus 1 times derivative of u, so, yung, ito yung u natin, so, derivative nyan is uh, 2 minus 4, 1 over 3x minus 1 times derivative of u, so, that is 3. So next, f prime of x, so that is 3 times 2, 6 over 2x plus 1, minus 12 over 3x minus 1. And then next, uh, simplify lang natin, or pasamahin natin yung dalawang fraction na to. So kailangan kung ano yung denominator ng isa, dapat same din sila. Same din siya sa kabila. So that is, so multiply natin to by 3x minus 1, 3x minus 1. Then, 2x plus 1, 3x minus 1. Minus, so, dito naman sa kabila, sa 12, so, multiply natin siya both numerator, numerator and denominator by 2x plus 1. 2x plus 1, then 3x minus 1, 2x plus 1. Yan, so, same na sila ng denominator. So, 2x plus 1, 3x minus 1, 3x minus 1, 2x plus 1. So, f prime of x, Pagsamahin na natin. So, 2x plus 1. So, pwede natin to if file method. So, ito naman, 18x minus 6 minus uh, 24x minus 12. So, simplify na lang natin. Uh, 18x minus 24x. So, that is negative 6x. Negative 6x. Yeah, negative 6 minus 12 is plus, uh, negative 18. Negative 18. And then, eto, foil method na lang natin. So, lagi ko nga dito. 2x plus 1 times 3x minus 1. So, 6x squared, outer negative 2x, inner, so, negative 1. So, eto, 2x plus 3x, so, positive x minus 1. Okay, so that's it. Negative 6x minus 18 over 6x squared plus x minus 1. So let's try another one. So differentiate cube root of x plus 2 over 2x minus 3. So applying the chain rule. So, try natin. So, apply din natin yung sa shorter method. So, that is yung power niya, di ba, is 1. So, 1 yung nasa 
numerator natin, and then yung uh, index niya that is 3. Then, copy lang natin yung uh, nasa loob, x plus 2, 2x minus 3. So, ito 3 din to. And then, 3 minus 1 is 2. Okay? So, ito yan. And then, chain rule nga tayo, diba? Kasi meron differentiable pa yung inner function, diba? So, that is multiplied by Yes, so let's apply. So, apply natin yung favorite natin quotient rule. So, 2x minus 3 squared. Then, copy natin si 2x minus 3 times the derivative of uh, numerator. So, that is x plus 2. So, times 1 na lang. Minus, copy natin si x plus 2. Multiplied by the derivative of denominator. So, that is 2x. Or 2, sorry. Yan, 2. So, copy lang natin. So, 2x minus 3 minus x times 2 is 2x. Then, 2 times 2 is 4. So, negative 4. All over 2x minus 3 squared. And then, uh, simplify na natin to. So, makancel out to. So, burahin na natin yan. 2x na yan. And, negative 4 minus 4 is... Negative 3 minus 4 is negative 7. Okay? So, you can leave it like that. Pero, since... Uh, kung gusto nyo mas simpler pa yung itsura niya, yung form niya, no? So, pwede natin i-apply yung mga uh, knowledge natin about radicals. So, itong uh, nasa baba, so pwede natin siyang paghiwaliin. So, magiging cube root of x plus 2 squared over 3, or cube root of uh, 2x minus 3 squared. So, same lang naman siya dito. Okay? So, same lang yung mga yan. Then, times negative 7 over 2x minus 3 squared. And then, uh, pwede natin itong uh, i-reciprocate itong part na to. So, pag i-reciprocal natin yan, so you will get uh, y prime is equal to, so itong nasa uh, denominator, siya na yung magiging numerator natin. So, 3, 2x minus 3 squared divided by 3 uh, cube root of x plus 2 squared times negative 7 and 2x minus 3 raised to 2. Okay? So, napansin nyo itong 2x minus 3 dito sa so pareho sila ng base, diba? Sa so, itong 2x minus 3 so, pwede natin itong gawing a fraction. So, gawin natin siyang fraction. So, 2 third. Okay? So, ngayon, 2 third, uh, 2x minus 3 over 2x minus 3. So, para magiging ganito yung tsura niya, diba? So, 2x minus 3 uh, over 2 third or raised to 2 third. So, 2x minus 3 raised to 2. Okay? So, kapag nag-divide tayo ng uh, rational exponent, so, diba, pinagsasubtract lang natin yung exponent. Tama? So, magiging 2 third minus 2. So, it will become 2 third minus 6 over 3. So, it will become negative 4 over 3. Okay, so, so, y prime is equal to, so, pag isa na lang natin, so, negative 7, then 3, cube root of x plus 2 squared, multiplied by 2x, yun na po natin kanina, 2x minus 3 raised to uh, 4 over 3. So, negative yun, kasi nandito sa numerator yun, nasa numerator, pero pag binaba natin yung magiging positive. So, pwedeng ganto or pwedeng ganto na kami nakita na kayong ganto sa choices, so pwedeng yun na yun. Or, pwedeng yung pag-isahin din to, no? Or, pwedeng ganto Okay? So, ito pwedeng nyo rin pag-isamahin itong dalawang ito, eh. Kasi multiplication ng mga man. Or, ito pala, so pwedeng uh, cube root na lang to raised to 4. So, given y is equal to u raised to 28 and u is 3x squared plus 5, find dy du, dy, du dx and dy dx. So, let's try first yung dy du. dy du, so that is um, the derivative of u raised to 28. So, u raised to 28, so that is uh, power rule lang, 28u raised to 27. And then, du dx, du dx, so that is 3x squared plus 5. So, 6x, so yan, 6x na lang, du dx. 
and then uh, dy dx. So dy dx is equivalent to dy over du times du dx. Okay? Yan. So, pinag-multiply lang daw natin itong uh, 28, itong dy du and du dx. So, yung uh, dy du, so ito yun, 28, u raised to 27. Itong u, so ibalik lang natin yung value ng u, which is in terms of x, so that is 3x squared plus 5 raised to 27, multiplied by 6x. So, ito yung du dx natin. So, dy dx is equivalent to uh, 28 times 6, so that is uh, 168 x times 3x squared plus 5 raised to uh, 27. Okay, so raised to 27 yan. So, uh, siguro yun na yung final answer natin. No? Para na kayong dapat patunayan. <laughs> so, hindi natin kailangan expand yung uh, 3x squared plus 5 raised to 27 na yan. Pero choose nyo kung gusto nyo, wala kayong magawa sa buhay. No? So, let's try another one. So, x squared times 16 minus x squared raised to negative 1 half. So, for this problem, we can use product rule. So, set natin si u as, itong si x squared as u, and 16 minus x squared as b. So, for the product rule, copy muna natin si x squared, si u, multiplied by the derivative of b. So, power rule lang yan. So, negative 1 half times 16 minus x squared raised to negative 1 half minus 1. So, that is uh, negative 3 over 2. And then, uh, yung chain rule yan, di ba? Kasi differentiable yung inner function. So, 16 minus x squared, ang derivative niya is negative 2x. Okay? And then next, plus, copy natin si b. 16 minus x squared raised to negative 1 half. Then, times the derivative of u is 2x. Okay? So, itong negative 2x or itong negative 2. So, pwede itong makancel out. So, itong 2, saka yung, pa, yung negative sign. So, magiging positive sila. And then, itong x, multiply natin dito sa x squared. So, it will become x cubed times 16 minus x squared raised to negative 3 over 2 plus uh, 16 or 2x na lang. 2x muna. Unay mo natin. 2x raised to, or 16 minus x squared raised to negative 1 half. Okay? So, napansin nyo, meron silang common factor, which is itong x. And yung 16 minus x squared, so, nakarayo sila sa um, exponent, sa fractional exponent. So, pag nagpa-factor out tayo, ang ilalabas natin is yung mas mababa. ba? So, dito sa x squared and 2x, ang mas mababa is uh, yung common sa kanila is x, di ba? So, pag mayroon tayong fractional exponent, so, ang ilalabas natin is kung sino yung mas mababa. Okay, so, pag negative, so, yung bigger number, yun yung mas mababa, di ba? So, ang lalabas natin is 16 minus x squared raised to negative 3 over 2. Okay, siya yung inilabas natin. And then, ayan. So, x cubed divided by x, so, that is x squared. And then, uh, 16 minus x squared raised to negative 3 over 2 by, divided by 16 minus x squared raised to negative 3 over 2 is just 1. Okay? Plus 2x divided by x is 2. And then uh, 16 minus x squared raised to negative 1 half divided by 16x. 16, 16, uh, 16 minus x squared raised to negative 3 over 2. So, pag nag-divide tayo ng, ano, ng fractional exponent, diba? Nag, uh, pag nag- Mumultiply tayo, nag-a-add. Pag naman divide, nag-subtract tayo, di ba? So, negative 1 half minus uh, negative 3 over 2. So, magiging positive. So, 3 over 2. So, it will become um, positive 2 over 2 or equal to 1. So, 16 minus x squared raised to 1. So, huwag natin ilagay yung 1. Okay? And then, pwede pa natin itong simplify uh, 16 times x minus negative 3 over 2. Then, x squared plus uh, 32 minus 2x squared. So, itong x squared minus 2x squared, so it will become uh, negative x squared na lang. Yan. Okay, so 32 minus x squared. And then, itong 16 minus x squared raised to negative 3 over 2. So, pwede natin siyang ibaba. So, baba natin siya. So, matitrace si x. 
And then 32 minus x squared all over 16 minus x squared raised to positive 3 over 2. So itong sa numerator, pwede natin i-distribute si x sa 32x minus x cubed all over 16 minus x squared raised to 3 over 2. Or pwede natin gawing radical uh, form. So, kung gusto nyo i-rationalize, ayaw nyo nang may radical form sa baba. So, you can rationalize it. So, alam nyo naman mag-rationalize. So, uh, square root of 16 minus x squared raised to 3. Okay? So, pwede nyo ilabas si 16 minus x squared since uh, mas malaki naman yung exponent niya kaysa uh, index, di ba? Ayan. So, pwede nyo ito or ito. Okay? So, next derivatives of trigonometric functions. So, let's try this one. So, the different uh, derivative of um, cosine 5x. So, that is, so derivative ng cosine is negative sine 5x. Then, uh, using the chain rule, so, meron pa tayo inside function, which is differentiable pa. So, multiply natin yun sa derivative ni 5x, which is 5. So, our final answer would be negative 5 sine 5x. Okay. So, let's try this one. So, sine squared x or simply y is equal to sine x raised to 2. So, same lang naman yan, diba? So, pwede natin apply si power rule. So, that is 2 sine x. Um, 2 minus 1 is 1. And then, yung inner function natin, so meron siyang derivative, di ba? So, sine x is cosine x. So, times cosine x. Okay? So, that is equivalent to y prime is equal to uh, 2 sine x cosine x. So, ito na yun. So, another one, you can pause this video, then try answering this one. Then, saka nyo i-play ulit, check nyo kung tama yung answers nyo. So, applying a product rule ulit. So, 3x squared, then multiplied by the derivative of p, which is negative sine x, plus uh, cosine x, then derivative of 3x squared is 6x. Okay? So, simplify lang natin. So, negative yung uh, sa sine x natin. So, 3x squared sine x plus uh, 6x cosine x. So, pwede natin itong i-factor pa, no? So, factor out natin si uh, 3x. And then, so, mas maganda kung positive yung nauna, no? So, 3x, 6x divided by 3x, so that is 2. Cosine x minus 3x squared is divided by 3x, so x sine x. Okay, so this is our final answer. So, let's try another one. So, cosine x minus f prime of x is equal to derivative of cosine x is negative sine x minus uh, uh, constant multiple rule, so 2 times the derivative of tan 4x, so that is second squared 4x, and then chain rule, so punin natin yung derivative yung inside function, that is 4x, so that is times 4. So our final answer would be negative sine x minus 2 times 4 is 8 second squared 4x. For this example, second 2x raised to 3 minus 3 second 2x. So, f prime of x. So, apply lang si chain rule and yung differentiation rules ng trigonometric functions. So, chain, uh, ano muna pala? Power rule. So, 3 second squared. Copy lang natin yung function. And then, yung Derivative na second x is second x tan x, right? So, times second 2x tan 2x. And then, yung inner function niya na 2x, punin din natin yung derivative niya, which is times 2. Okay? So, minus 3 second 2x, second 2x is sec tan, sec 2x tan x times yung inner function na 2x. So, kunin natin yung ano niya, derivative is times 2. So, next, simplify na lang natin. 
So, 3 times 2 is 6. And then, second 2x raised to 2 times second 2x is second 2x raised to 3. Then, tan 2x. Then, minus six, uh, 3 times 2 is 6. Then, second 2x tan 2x. And then, uh, factor out lang natin yung mga common sa dalawang terms na to. So, 6 and uh, second 2x and pati yung tan 2x. Okay? So, divide lang natin yung dalawa. So, 6 second 2x raised to 3 tan 2x divided by 6 second 2x tan 2x is ang matitira na lang is second 2x raised to 2. So, ito man sa kabila. So, 1 na lang to. Minus 1. And then, kung matatandaan nyo sa Pythagorean identity, yung tan tan squared x is equal to second squared x minus 1. So, itong uh, second squared x minus 1, i-represent i -represent na lang natin as tan x raised to 2. So, f prime of x is equal to 6 second 2x tan 2x and then uh, since 2x yan so magiging uh, tan squared 2x na lang siya okay so ni replace lang natin tong second 2x minus 1 into this form tan squared or tan 2x raised to 2 ito since uh, identity natin ang pythagorean identity so ito yung pythagorean identity natin identity so, multiply lang, na lang natin itong tan 2x and then yung tan 2x raised to 2. So, our final answer will be tan 3. Okay. So, y is equal to cos square root of 7x. So, y prime is equal to derivative of cosine is negative sign. So, yung inside function, so, i-copy lang natin yun, square root of 7x, times derivative of square root of 7x is uh, constant multiple rule. So, this is a constant. So, constant, i-copy lang natin is constant. Then, derivative of x is just 1. So, therefore, final answer natin would be negative sign or negative 7. Negative square root of 7 sign square root of 7x. So, g of t is equal to sine phi t, uh, cos t raised to 4. So, let's try to solve this one. So, g of t, or g prime of t, is equal to, uh, product rule muna tayo. So, copy natin si u, sine phi t, times the derivative of uh, cosine raised to 4 is just uh, the same as this. Okay? So, power rule lang siya. So, baba natin yung exponent, 4, and then copy natin yung uh, function, yung, in, yung outside function, so cosine t raised to 3, or ilagay na lang natin dito. Yan. Multiplied by the uh, yung derivative of nung inside function na cosine, so that is uh, negative sine t. Plus, yung b naman yung copy natin, so cosine 4 times derivative of sine phi t is cosine phi t times the derivative of uh, inner function na phi t is phi. Okay, so nagkasya. Okay, next, i-rearrange lang natin. So, yung negative sign, lagay natin sa unahan. Or, ito na lang muna unahin natin. So, cosine 40 times, so, lagay natin sa unahan si pi. Pi times cosine pi t minus uh, 4 cosine q times sine pi t times sine t. So, pwede ito na yung final answer natin. So, kung, pero kung gusto nyo i-factor out si cosine cube, so, g of t, g prime of t, is equal to, ilalabas lang natin si um, cos of t raised to 3. 
for sige, ito na nga lang sa loob. Yan. So, pi cosine t raised to 4 divided by uh, cosine t raised to 3 is, matitira is cosine t. Then, cos pi t. And then, uh, cosine t raised to 3 divided by cosine t raised to 3 is 1. So, yun natin ilagay yun. Ang matitira is sine pi t times sine t. Okay, so this is our final answer.